Okay, in this step of transferring existing WordPress website to a new domain, we're going to do a couple different things. Uh, first, we're going to go to the cPanel for our new domain where we want to transfer uh, the existing domain to. Uh, click on PHP My Admin. Uh, and you should have an interface similar to this. You're going to select the uh, database that you want and we're going to export it. And the reason we're doing this is just kind of as a backup. If something goes wrong, we can always take it back to the default of where it was by importing the uh, um, existing database on the new domain. Uh, again, you want to make sure that you select uh, custom and you want to display all possible options when you're exporting and make sure that all the tables are highlighted and under the object creation, creation options that you have add drop tables checked before you hit click go and download uh, the uh, um, existing database and again just remember where you put that uh, hopefully we won't need it at all but it'll be there just in case you need it the next step is we're going to use an FTP client uh, in this case I use Fizilla, uh but whichever FTP client you have uh, you want to connect uh, to the existing uh, domain where we're transferring it from uh, and let that go ahead and connect uh, and once it connects the purpose of this is we want to go and download the existing HT access file um, and because uh, we're going to use that on the the new domain so we want to connect to uh, um, whatever reason that failed so let's try it again uh, we pick the domain uh, that we the, the existing domain the one that we're going to uh, um, transfer from and once that connects again I'll show you where here it is under the public underscore HTML directory click on that you'll see this file has a, a period in front of it all that means is it in Linux it's a hidden file in this uh, uh, particular uh, web client or I mean FTP client I have it all hidden files showing so you'll see it you want to click on that and download again choose where you want to download it on this side at least for Fizilla before you download it so you want to download the HT access file and I would also say in this case we don't have it but if you have it the robot.txt file I would download that as well in this case we do not have those with this the existing or the new domain so don't worry about it uh, the next thing we want to do is go and uh, um, connect to these go ahead and disconnect here and we want to connect to the new domain uh, the one where we we are moving everything uh, to and I, usually it'll ask you for a password I've already had those in it and, and saved those so I didn't have to for the purpose of the screencast but you would have to cl uh, click your uh, um, um, I mean add your uh, password and go from there here uh, we're going to the uh, uh, public HTML file. Uh, let's see here. Connection timed out. Server must be having problems this morning, so let's go ahead and connect to that one more time. Uh, that's the domain, the, the new domain. Uh, okay, and again, we're under the public. HTML file that's the root directory of, of your website uh, and in this case we're going to do uh, two things uh, we're going to upload the HT access file uh, that we just downloaded we're going to upload it to the new domain so wherever you saved it on this side you're going to and I already have it on this side you're going to have it and you're going to right click and hit upload at least with uh, a Fizilla you will and what your interface might be slightly different depending on what you're using 
Anyways, we have the HTT access file here from the existing domain, and at the same time, where you want to um, uh, upload one other file, um, uh, I will include the, the link to where you find this file. It, it's called search replace db2.php. It comes in a zip uh, uh, folder. I've already unzipped it. Right here you can see it. I would upload this also to my root directory, which I've already done. It's right here. We will need that uh, for the uh, uh, next step. And again, I, um, I will uh, include the link to where you can download it. Again, you just have to unzip it or extract it, whichever you, whichever term that you use, and have it in a location that you can upload to the root uh, of your website, which is the public underscore HTML in this case. Um, also, one other thing uh, that we want to do, we can go ahead and disconnect from here as soon as we, we've done that. Uh, we want to uh, um, go to our file managers under cPanel. Uh, this is for the uh, new domain. Uh, this is for the existing domain. And again, we're under public HTML. We want to go under WP Contents. Then this is under our existing domain. And look at uh, um, um, do, do we have the same directories, the same folders here that we have in the new domain? Okay, so let's go to the same place. Um, while it's getting those files, I'll show you something. Over here on the far right is your file permissions. Your key here is under your uploads file directory, whichever you want to call it, has permission zero, or anyways, in this case it's 0777. Uh, I wouldn't recommend that from a security standpoint, but th th that's that's what they have for this particular web host, so uh, we want to duplicate that. Um, not sure why, there we go. And again, see, do we have the uploads directory? Yes. And is it the same file permissions? Yes. Okay, so we'll back over here to the existing uh, domain. We want to then look at the uploads file directly. Uh, under there you'll have the 2012 and that's the one that's kind of key these other ones are put in by the uh, 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 themes or other things you don't need to worry about but under 2012 do you have 2012 and do you have the same file permissions that uh, uh, it has here under your uh, uh, new domain so let's go look here and uploads um, let's take a minute to uh, to open today. It seems like again the servers are running awful slow. Uh, but anyways, uh, in here, let's go back to our existing domain. Under 2012 you have three directories. 01 for which is January, 03 for March, and 04 for April. Uh, you want to make sure you have those same three directories with the same file permissions uh, um, on your existing domain as you do on your new domain. Over here, under the new domain, and again we'll go back to the existing domain that's taking a second to open. I'll show you here. If you want to change file permissions under cPanel, all you do is right click that particular directory and it says change permissions and you can click and unclick to get the and I'll show you the number on the bottom what those permissions are so we can uncheck or check permissions to uh, uh, match up with what we have on the existing domain and again that's still loading my apologies um, but that's the key here you want to make sure you have the same directories under your WP content uploads and 2012 um, and again you want those uh, uh, make sure the WP content uploads has the same file permissions on the existing domain as, or on the new domain as it has on the existing domain you want to make sure the 2012 has the same as well as your three in this case three directories 01, 03, and 04 
And again, that's taking some time to load. Uh, usually does not. And of course, when we're trying to demonstrate something, it's going to uh, take longer to do that. So, if you need to add, and I'll tell you right now, at least for the purpose of this uh, 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 demonstration, I had to. I have the 0, 01, 0, 03, and 04 directories under 2012 under uploads, which is under WP contents. Those are under the existing domain. Those were not what I had under the new domain, which I only had 04 because that's when uh, we installed WordPress on uh, that particular domain. So I had to add 03 and 01. It's a simple thing to do when you're when you're under it, like under 2012. Uh, I want to add a new folder. It'll say new folder will be created in. You want to make sure it's in WP Contents Upload 2012, and then just type. Uh, the, the name of it, which in this case would be 01 or 03 that you're adding, and hit create new folder, and you're done. After that, just right click that directory because it'll have different file permissions. Right click that and say change file permissions, just like this change permissions, and make sure it has the same permissions that your existing domain uh, folder has. And that's all there is to it. You just want to make sure that before we do the import that those are set up to do that. Um, and in this case, um, you will see right here, uh, yeah, I have the 01, 03, and 04. Those directories have already been created by me. Double check the file permissions, change it on uh, 01 and 03. That is uh, the end of this step. Uh, the, the final step before we actually import uh, the existing database.